day, today, I'm going to, uh, Well, watch this video and talk about why I cannot be on James' side for this very moment. So, here we now have the screwing we, a video of uh, James Jones's Snapchat, and now this. So by the title of this video, you know this is a very disgusting, scandalous video that's probably going to be very controversial. The reason why I'm here today is because Ethan didn't feel comfortable enough filming this alone after numerous threats made to him by James Charles. So before we get this video started, um, speaking on his behalf because I know he's scared, but you know I'm not scared of anybody or anyone. But Anyways, um, a lot of people are going to say you're doing this for clout. A lot of people are going to say this is fake, but it's not fake. You know, there's receipts, there's proof to back it up. So at the end of the day, whatever type of person you are, that's what will reflect on you. That's all I'm saying. But he's going to speak his truth and nothing but his truth. So before y'all even start to hate or anything, if you have anything negative to say, just click off the video. Go somewhere else with it. But you got it, bro. And neither of the people did, which finally caused even Andrew to block the comments because all these cancel culture haters who are defending James Charles just want to say hate on Ethan and June Red and that is why he turned off the comments. So about a couple months ago, back in March, I would say, um, I, my, my, one of my homeboys were on James Charles Live, and he was like, bro, like, join this, like, let's just troll him. Like, we were just putting random stuff and just trolling, and my friend was like, yo, like, I bet you want to DM him. And I wasn't thinking anything of it. I said, all right, bet, I'm going to DM him. So I DM him, and um, I guess the next day he responds, and he tells me, why do you keep texting me? And I was like, what? I was like, I don't keep texting you. Like, well, like, what are you talking about? And he just kind of ignores the subject because I sent him, like, a picture back of me. And I guess, I don't know, he finds me attractive or whatever. I don't know what, I don't know what he was hiding in his brain going on. He asked me what my age was, and I told him, um, I told him I was 14 years old. And he told me I was very young. And I said, yeah. And he said, add me on Snapchat because I, I feel more comfortable talking on there. 
And so I said, okay, like, let's do it. Like, bet. And me not knowing anything, like, I just think that's cool. Like, James Charles, like, 18, 17 million followers, like, wants me to add him on Snap. Like, not even in a clout way. Like, I'm just saying, like, that's dope. Like, in an influence. Like, everybody knows who he is pretty much. I was like, that's awesome. And so I just, I thought it was a cool and he just started getting a little too comfortable with me and just pushing it over the limits, knowing I was underage. And I started talking to him about it. He didn't really believe it until he he saw it with his own eyes, James Charles being so pushy and just making me feel uncomfortable to the max. And I honestly, like, he was like, I guess he was trying to get me into thinking I was bisexual or gay or whatever he wants to whatever y'all want to call it, but he was asking me to send him news and he kept wanting me to go to LA and he kept sending me news and I kept just sending me a picture back. I didn't respond. I just literally sent that picture back to me and he would leave it on open and then snap me like a few hours later sending me another picture of his like ass, you know, I'm just going to say it. Like it was just, it was just, it was, it made me feel super uncomfortable and so um, Now, if James Charles were to make a YouTube video addressing the situation or tweeting the situation on Twitter to back up his claims that he didn't do all that, then that would be the time I would denounce, I would denounce Ethan Andrew Red's claims about James Charles. But, the reason why I had to not be, had to uh, be against James, James Charles is because, well, one, he is gay and two James Charles can be problematic sometimes which is why I cannot trust him. If you if you guys remember the last time this happened, which was last year, we all knew what happened. And Still, I still don't think it was right for James Charles to be all all up in people's faces like that. Or at least trying to get them to turn from straight to gay. I mean, that's just not normal. At least, it's just not normal at all.